In this video, uh, I will show you the simple way uh, to solve a division. When you have a large or big number divided to any number, there's a technique you can use uh, to get the right number. Uh, as you can see here, we have 576 divided to 9. It's not too large, but sometimes it can be challenged uh, to figure out what number divided by. And, and that's what I'm going to show you. There's two different ways you can use, and you can still get the same uh, answer or correct answer. So the first technique we can use is times. When we multiply a number, we can see where this number should be, or which number of times, which number we can get at 57. The way you approach the problem, you look at the first two numbers and see if you can divide it to nine. And the easy way you can figure out is using times and we know 9 times 1 equal 9 and because the big the number is big I'm not going to begin from 9 uh, from 1 I will begin with 9 times 5 and we know it's 45. That's the point I will begin looking what number or which number times uh, it give me 57. As you can see here, 45 is less than 57. So I will try 9 times 6 and you will get 54, which is close to what we have. So let's try again and see nine times seven, and you will get 63. So from here, I have idea that 57 is between 54 and 56. This will give you exactly an idea what number is 57 uh, and if you can divide it by a nine. Here we can figure out because uh, 63 is greater than 65, uh, 57. So we're going to, uh, to say that the right number it will be 6 because 9, we figure out 9 times 6 is called 50, uh, 54. And that's, you can use this technique with any number divided by, and uh, you can figure out. Now we figure out that 9 times 6 is 50 is 54 but I have a 57 I can say that 6 6 times uh, 9 times 6 is 54 and I have uh, 57 so 54 minus 57 I have remaining 3 and we have 6 
Now, you have 36 remaining. And you can figure out, if we go back to the same technique, I can go back and say, nine times three is what? 27. And nine times four is 36. And that will give me an idea that this number, is, the answer should be 64. That's the first technique you can use, especially if you're in exam, you can figure out. The last technique you can use is a long division. So in the long division, when you divide it a number by, when you have a large number and you divide it by any number, in long division, you have uh, at least four questions in mind. The first question you ask, you ask yourself, 57 equal or not equal? Or is it greater or is less? So when you try to divide it using a long division, if I have nine and I have 57. The first question you ask yourself, is five equal to nine can be divided? And we can say not equal. Is it greater than five is greater or less, is less than nine. But when you add seven to that, it became a greater than nine. And that's how you look when you approach trying to solve when you have a large number. So that's two way you can solve it. But let's go back to solve our problem. I just showing you there's two different ways you can solve a radical uh, problem, but you can still get the same answer. Go back to what we have here. We have 576 divided to nine. And this equation, it can be written like this. It can be still 576 divided to nine. It's the same thing. And if you go back to the radical uh, rules, when you have A, we say the, the sign for the radical, divided to B, is the same thing A divided to B. It's the same thing. Therefore, we can write this problem in this way. So we have 576 divided to nine. And how you solve it? Based on what we use, those two techniques, the long division and times, we can figure out that this problem, 
can be in this way. Based on what we guess uh, so last couple minutes, it will be 9 times 64. Divided to 9. How we figure out? We use, like I showed you the first time, that you can use times and it will give you the idea what number be. Now you have 9 times 64 divided to 9. With this, 9 will cancel with 9. And we will remain with 64. Because this one is radical, so you have to have the sign this way. If you look, you look at your book and you're going to see how it looks like. Now, we're not done because if you can see here, we're trying to simplify uh, in the way that you know the square of 8 is what? Is 5, uh, is 8. In radical, index has 2 and 64 has 1 on the top. And I showed you before. What we have here, when you have 64, is 8 times 8 in simple word. Or you can write this 64 in this way. 8 power 2 power of 2 and this will equal if you take like what I said the 8 will come in this way will cancel with 2, you will remain with 8. The answer is 8. So let's get back again and, and see what we what we done here. And I hope it's clear. And if you still have a question let me know on the video on the bottom of this thing so it go back what I done we figure out 576 divided to 9 we figure out this number is 9 times 64 divided to 9. So 9, it cancel with 9. We divided 9 to 9. And we remain with 64. And you know the square of 64 is 8. In simple word, just like that. Should be 8. And that's the answer you should get. But I just show you, in radical problem, the index here is 2. And 1 here, 
So we have uh, 80 squared here, and, and that's how you get to, to 8. And that is uh, the correct answer. So if you have any question, let me know, and I'm here to help. Thank you.